In this video, I want to do a walkthrough of creating a really good banner art or cover photo for your Redbubble shop. A lot of people are probably missing out on quite a bit of sales because their cover art isn't professional enough, it isn't inviting enough, and it isn't displaying the right message. So I want to address all of those points and show you what really good ones look like, what really bad ones look like, and then not just that, but take a really bad one and give it my spin so you can kind of see what I would do differently. And hopefully that will give you some inspiration to upgrade your cover art. I have found five different shops that have done it really well and I've analyzed each of their cover photos and I want to show them to you in this video. But before I do that, please don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It does amazing things and hopefully it will get this video quite a few more views. And without further ado, let's head over to the computer with number one being Illustrator Design. This is a piece of art. This is the best cover photo I think I've ever seen in my entire life. And it goes perfectly with the rest of his designs. His designs are very much like this. So it really fits with his theme. It fits with his idea. It fits with what he, it fits with his message of what he's trying to sell, right? You can see from his designs. And what I think is just so incredible is this is, I mean, I'm assuming this person drew this and Oh my gosh, it's absolutely fantastic. I don't know if you can understand, I don't know if you can see what it is, but it's, you've got sushi, you've got uh, noodles here, you've got, it's just amazing. It's just such a good design. And look, it might not show you the designs he is doing. Like a lot of the time I like having the actual t-shirt designs, but this is one big t-shirt design in a way. And not only that, but it shows the professionalism of this, this, this channel, this shop. And if anything, it will pique a lot of interest. So this is the first one. The second one I like was, okay, so this one, very, very simple, okay? It's their name and it's a few cats and skulls. And that seems to be a very popular trend along there, you've got cats and skulls, cats, skulls, cats, like, and, 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 and the Grim Reaper is like a very good trend within their shop so it made a lot of sense that that was their cover photo and again it's very very simple it's just black with white text and white images very easy to read very easy to see and you just you know flow down the page from this one of my favorites is from our fellow youtuber detour shirts who i genuinely think has a ridiculously good store he if you by the way if you, if you ever watch any of detour shirts videos you should start you know he's an incredible youtuber and he's just so good at print on demand. I've learned so much from his videos, so it's really cool. But anyways, his his cover art is just so good. It's basically a collection of his best pieces of work, or maybe what he thinks his best pieces or most popular pieces of work are. And he's an amazing graphic designer. I'll put it that put it like that. So I really like this kind of gra this cover photo because it allows someone to come to your page and immediately see what they could potentially buy. So I could look and be like, oh, holy guacamole, I like that one. Let's go and find holy guacamole, right? And then I can go through and find it. And I just think that is the best kind of marketing because it's the first thing that they see when they come to your shop. The next one is a very similar, very similar to what Detour Shirts did, except it's a lot more designs. The only thing that is maybe not the best about this is it's a very very small so it's hard to see but basically what this is this is a whole collection of all the different designs and the reason i picked this one is because all of these designs kind of match they kind of flow right there's there's not like all, they're different niches but they all kind of have the same style of artwork which i just think is so important and so good so it's very easy to look at this right it's very easy on the eyes and when we scroll down this is their artwork right this is literally what they're selling and their artwork is absolutely fantastic so i really really like this and then finally another good one is this one which is a very different one this is space frog design and I like this because I like the logo, you know, here, the space, the S design. And as well as that, I just thought this was a very, like, it's very graphic -y. It's very cool. It's very nice. It's very clean. And again, it's very easy on the eye. It's very easy to look at. And when we scroll down, this coloring, this gold, that those blues, it really matches. You can see this, these mountains, the pillow. I absolutely love this pillow. I think I might buy that pillow, right? And I don't like it on that jumper, but that's besides the point. But you can see their coloring really matches throughout, right? It's, it just it in, encapsulates their whole theme, right? And that's why I think this is just perfect because they don't need to show their designs. The fact that they're showing these blues and gold, it just, it just 
it's perfect for them. And that's what I really, really like with those five shops. So some key takeaways of these shops, they all match the theme of their overall page with their cover, right? It's not just some random cover and then some random designs. It all intertwines and matches, which is huge. They have all been designed to an incredibly high standard. They haven't just been thought up in two minutes and it's like, mm, yeah, let's go for that one, right? They've all, everyone's taken their time and really created good cover art. Some of them have a shop name and what I've seen after looking at others as well is a lot of them have the shop name. But one thing I've noticed is you don't really necessarily need the shop name because the shop name is right underneath the banner art. So I don't see why you need to like have the name in the banner art and then have the name underneath the banner art. It's a bit of a waste of real estate, graphical real estate space, right? You could use that space at the top to make something that really fits with your page and then have the name underneath where your name is meant to be. And most importantly, none of them, absolutely none of them make you go to the page and then immediately leave or say, oh, that looks bad or like not be so you know, into their page as a whole. All of them instill confidence that their designs are good, that they spend time on their artwork and actually get you to want to go and continue searching throughout their shop. So let's now go take one of the bad ones because we're gonna look at four bad ones quickly. We're gonna take one of those bad ones and I'm going to actually recreate it for that person. I have no idea who they are, but if you're watching, then message me and I'll send it to you if you like it. But we're gonna recreate it in Photoshop so you can see exactly what I would do with someone's page. now very important to note is these pages that have great banner art also have great artwork and their whole page flows you know it all matches with the bad ones what you'll notice is the pages don't actually flow that well the designs are a bit random and all over the place so it will be actually harder to make banner art or cover art whatever you want to call it for the bad pages because you can't really intertwine it all into the page so let's quickly look at the bad ones we've got design for you sublimation Okay, they've got feature collection, they've got, I don't know why my computer's going so slow today. They've got 22 things in their shop, a lot of it is Christmas stuff. See, it's going to be hard to make a banner art for this kind of person because their designs are so unbelievably random and not particularly good. So you've got this one, but there's a lot he could do here. We've then got, and they've got this one, right? They've got the right kind of idea here they're showing some of their artwork but i feel like they could do a lot better right this is part of the archie pop and within archie pop they've got quite a few cool pieces of work here right and they could use all of these within their cover art so they could definitely make their cover art a lot better than it is then you've got this one which doesn't have a cover art so well done and then you've got coffee store so this, they've got a lot of designs. They've got 137 designs. Some of them are really good. Some of them are a bit terrible, but most of them, are, well, not most of them. A lot of them are really good. Let's put it that way. Unfortunately, they've put their huge banner just being Kofera store, which is, and they've got white space above and white space below, and they've got Kofera again here. Why? Why? Use the banner art. So I think this is the one that we are going to edit. So what I'm going to do is I'm first, I'm going to head over to Photoshop. I'm going to, create the canvas. The canvas has to be 2,400 pixels by 600 pixels. And then we are going to download some of these person's artwork and see how we can mix and match it into a really cool piece of banner art. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually go into Photoshop, create a new piece of work. I should actually have it saved somewhere. Yeah, 2,400 by 600, because I've recently, recently updated um, some. Anyways, let's just go into it. So you can see this is the banner art shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that person's page. This is one, this is the person's page. I'm gonna have a look at his different products. So he's got, let's go into workout designs. He's only got two, so I'm not gonna use his workout designs. What I am gonna use, I think, is his beast mode. Not beast mode, is on mode, I think it's called. On mode, right, I kind of like mode on, he calls it. Um, I like those designs. Let's just explore his designs as a whole and see if anything particular stands out that is on his store that we could put into a um, uh, a banner, right? So you've got, I'm Korean, I'm Indian, I'm Argentinian, so that works. He's got a lot of cool patterns. I like his patterns. I'm Mexican, he's got a lot of those ones as well. I'm Catalan, I'm Norwegian. I'm, so he's got a lot of these. These could really, really work. 
these could really work. So what we're going to do is, and these look like they are playing a big part of his page. So we are going to actually open these up another page. And we are going to make banner art from these. So let's see if we can do this. And um, by the way, I'm going to speed up this next bit because this is going to be very slow me just trying to download all these images. Okay, let's have a look at, this is what I've got so far. Now I know it could be a lot better than this. This is not very good. And <clears throat> I, don't know, I don't even know if this design is popular on his particular channel, um, his shop, but this is kind of what I've got going for me. I'm gonna try and make it a bit better. So let's, let's, let's just, let's keep working. This is what I have so far. It's still not amazing. There is so much more that can be done. The only thing I've done here, and you might recognize, is that I've tried to match it within the theme of the store, which is very hard because his store is all over the place. He's got this mode on, he's got these uh, flag superpower ones, he's got so many different designs. So it was quite difficult, but I feel like if he focused on this trend, he could use this cover photo. Maybe he could have two different halves. So he could have one half being all of these flags, the other half having all the modes on, because those are his two, what looks like his two biggest sellers. I don't know, but it looks like that based on how many he has of each one. But this is kind of like what I've got going here. It's not the best. Uh, I think it's slightly better than what he previously had. And um, I'm sure it could be better. Let me know what you think in the comments. I, I wouldn't use this if it was me. I would spend a lot more hours on it and really try and hone in the whole page as a whole, try and make the whole all the try and make the whole page, all the designs really match rather than have some random here, some super random there, and even more random down here. I'd want it all to flow. So this is what I kind of think would help bring his shop together. This is kind of my final look on it. And I've really gone, gone home on the watch your superpower niche that he's started doing. And I've literally said, you know, someone comes to your page, what's a really nice question to ask someone? Watch your superpower. So I thought it's very inviting. And there's a subtle thing that I've done here. And I don't know if anyone's actually noticed it, but I noticed it and that's why I did it. But the first thing they see is watch your superpower. And then they'll see all these downward pointing flag arrow things which in your head mentally is making you feel like scroll down because you've got the first big one pointing down and then you've got six or 12 or little ones on everywhere pointing down. So I'm hoping what this would do is this would get someone to see your page and then feel like, let's, let's look what's down, let's look what's underneath this because everything's pointing down. Um, it's a bit of psychological design going on and it might not work, but based on experience of, of, of taking into account um, psychology and design and, and what people will want to click next, what they want to see. These kind of things do actually work more than we think. So that's what I've got going. Um, all I have to do is simply save this and I would upload it to the store, but it's not my store. But that's how I would that's how I would improve his cover art. Personally, I think it looks a bit better. Um, it's not amazing. I would spend many more hours on this to try and really fine tweak it. Um, and look, you may dislike this, you may massively hate this. And if you do, let me know in the comments because that could be quite funny. Uh, but I'm going to put them side by side just so we can have a look of what they actually look like. They're very, very different. They're very different. Let me zoom out of this a bit. They're very different. But immediately, I don't know, for me, I see this one, I'm like, let's scroll down. If I want to make it even more bolder, I would make the background blue rather than white which is a super simple thing to do. It's very, it's like, um, let me go here and it's as simple as, I mean, that could also work. I personally don't prefer that so much. I prefer that. I just think it looks a bit cooler, sleeker. But like I said, you know, it's all an opinion-based thing. Art is opinion-based. So all I'll say is make sure you think it looks cool, show it to three or four friends, make sure they think it looks good and then post it to your page. And just most importantly, Bear in mind the fact that the, the, the key takeaway points that we said from the good ones, 
But most importantly, of all of the key takeaways is just make sure it all blends in and matches with your overall theme of your uh, shop. So finally, let me know in the comments down below if you think yours is good enough. Could it be better? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.